Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Mario. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this simple starting screen that can be converted into like a be right back screen, a stream is ending screen, you know, that's how we do. Anywho, this is a starting screen and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, you just make yourself a 1920 by 1080 canvas and pretty much you're going to fill the background with the hex code 202023. It's going to be like a slightly blue gray type thing so just fill your background I already filled mine with that but yeah uh, I'll I will leave this uh, stream package template in the description pretty much it's just got guides and a color correction that I made after you fill the background we're gonna make a light so we're just gonna take this color here I'm gonna copy it so I don't have to lose it I'm gonna go to the foreground color and I'm gonna paste it and then just go to this B which is the, stands for brightness, and just drag it up a tiny bit. I'm gonna go to, it says 20%. I'm gonna click Control and then the semicolon to bring up my guides. Get my brush tool, and I'm gonna use my bracket keys to make it bigger. I'm gonna make a new layer using Control Shift N, pressing Enter. So now that I have my brush at about 1500 size, I'm gonna press Caps Lock so I get this little crosshair thing. And it just helps you like pinpoint the center when you're using a brush so I'm just gonna click once and now I have a light source and I don't know if you guys can tell but from what I'm seeing is there's a lot of banding which banding is like you can see the different levels of sort of like the light so like it's bright here but then it's just like a band of darker and darker and darker until it fades away so a quick way to fix that is just going to filter noise add noise and then I'm gonna put about one uh, because you don't really need more than one and if you put more it's just gonna look weird uh, I have it on uh, uniform distribution and monochromatic so it's not colored uh, just press OK and now you have your light so now I'm gonna make another new layer using control shift N, pressing enter and I'm gonna go back to my background color and I'm gonna go to my brushes and you can easily make this but I have a brush that I use for this and it's just like an X I will have a file down in the description where you can download this as just a PNG so you could use it in your design. So I'm going to do the same thing, hit control and then the semicolon and then press caps lock to get it in the middle and I'm actually going to make it a little bigger just about until it's off the screen. I'm just going to press, I'm just going to left click and there it is. So now that you have this. Next thing I did is I made a border around the outside and if you download the template it'll already have these margins here. So what you can do what you can do is just take your marquee tool and just go along the borders and hold shift so that you can do multiple selections at once and get a custom selection and just select everything up until the guide and then it should all connect and then just hit alt and delete to fill it and now you have a border going around. So the next thing we're gonna do is add the text and for this I used a font called Spy Agency and I'll have a link to that in the description as well. So I'm just gonna put stream is and now I'm gonna make that hold on let me just switch the font Spy Agency regular. I'm gonna make this font about 30 points I'm going to center it using control A and then being on the move tool uh, just clicking these two icons here so it centers. I'm going to hold alt and then click and then drag down holding shift so I make a duplicate of my text layer. Now I'm just going to write starting. And so we're going to color this text. You can use any color you want but I also included the colors in the template download. So the red color we're going to use the hex code is ED173F. So you can just use your eyedropper tool and click it. I'm just going to hide the colors now. Back to starting. And just do a quick flip. And there you go. Now the text is red. I'm going to make this text 48. Just so it looks even throughout. Or just, it makes it look more uniform. I'm going to center it. I'm going to move it down. Just make some space in between these two layers. Next thing I'm going to do is hold control and click on both text layers. Hit control G to group them and now I'm going to group them as a 
and now I'm going to center them as a whole. So just control A and then just click these two icons and then it's in the center. All right. Now to get these like cool little brush thingies, well they're not really brushes, they're like sort of like lines. I use Sesso's 100K pack. I'll have a link to that in the description as well. I got them linking everything in the fucking description. Anyway, so I'm just going to drag both of these into my canvas. And I believe, yeah, okay. So, no, we're going to hide that for a second. This was red, so I'm just going to go to color overlay and make it red. Same red I used earlier. Actually, it's this one. So I'm just going to go to color overlay and make it red. Don't rasterize it because then you'll start to lose quality as you scale it up. So now I'm just going to upscale it by holding Alt so it drags out from the center. And about there is good. Just drag it underneath your brush layer and use the guides just so you know where you're, where you're at. I put the bottom point on the bottom line and then I'm just going to drag this out to about here. Actually I'm going to make it smaller because it's interfering with the text. Alright that's good. So the bottom point is on the bottom guide and then I'm going to put the top point right here on the other guide. It's vertical. Now just duplicate it using control J and now I'm going to transform it by hitting control T. Just do flip horizontal so it goes to the other side. Just line it up the same way you did just on the opposite side with the guides and now they look cool in the background. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. I just kept these as white so you could just leave it like that and now the tricky part is getting these centered so I'm just gonna line it up with the middle of this of this one and hold alt and drag it so I have a duplicate and I'm gonna put this one in the middle of this now I'm gonna group these together using control G and I'm just gonna center them so that I'm only gonna center them vertically so that it just it's even on both sides and now I also did one more thing so I'm just gonna take these again because I use these make these red now I'm gonna scale it up just a bit and then rotate it about 30 degrees actually it was just a bit more than that I'm gonna go ahead and say like 32 just until it like looks straight what is that about about 40 35.5 so I just put these I lined them up on the margins so just like that now just duplicate it and do it to the other side and that is how you make a very clean simple sort of like futuristic modern looking um, stream as a starting screen so if you enjoyed this tutorial and you want more please I would like to see your suggestions in the comments down below and don't forget to give the video a like uh, if you're new to my channel please subscribe I'll be trying to upload a video at least once every Friday um, that should be doable I don't know we'll see how it goes so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one My fucking shit, you a motherfucking chump. Hey, boo, yeah, damn, Billy stay high like a kite. Yeah, bitch, I blew up overnight. Yeah, you know the world around town. Hey, my damn is bright like a light. Yeah, my music different, I'm right. Hey, my music different, I'm right. Yeah, who the fuck else sounds like this? Hey.